We're here with the head women's basketball coach at Tarleton State University, Coach Ronnie Hearn. Uh, coach, has, uh, you've got Cameron coming in on Wednesday, coming off a big win um, at Incarnate Word. Uh, Cameron has struggled a little bit, but you know, I, I, if I know you, I know you're not looking past them. I know you've got a big game coming up on Saturday, but how do you avoid, you know, I guess, I guess people like to call this the trap game where you have a, a team coming in with, with maybe not as good a record as they would like to see in between two winning record teams. Uh, how do you avoid overlooking Cameron, you know, because you know they're going to give you a good game. Uh, that's true, Nathan. And uh, it's kind of like Bill Parcells used to say, don't eat the cheese because you'll get caught in the trap if you do that. And as I look at Cameron uh, on video, I think they run their stuff really well. They got uh, two or three really good shooters. Uh, they played, uh, they beat Angelo State, which we only beat in overtime. So, you know, you can't look at the overall record. I look more, you know, some quality wins that they had, and that was definitely a quality win for Cameron. And, uh, you know, I really stress that to our players that uh, every practice needs to be a good practice. We need to be getting better, and we need to get prepared for Cameron just like we do anybody else. Okay. Now, Tarleton, uh, coming in, coaching your last five games, uh, you've shot over 50% in all five of those last games. Uh, you're now ranked number third in the nation in field goal percentage. Um, I guess what qualities and what things have been working well for y'all um, to, to make this, this offensive uh, surge? Well, I, I think a big thing, I think we're executing our offense a lot better. Uh, Coach Wilson does a great job with our triangle offense. And we do shooting drills just designed uh, for our offense. We do break down drills on different parts of our offense that maybe we're not executing as well. And uh, so she's done a great job there. And, and I think our players are just, you know, really getting comfortable with each other. I think our inside-outside game, of course, we've got some great shooters outside with Brianna and, and Peyton, especially those two. And then, you know, with two great post players like Shanae and Kira. And I think the guards understand, you know, that the ball needs to go inside. And, and when people are worried about our post players, that opens up the outside shots for our guards. Well, you've got the only two post players, only two players, period, in the Lone Star Conference shooting over 60% from the floor. Uh, so that's got to be a plus for the Texans. Last question, Coach, we'll get you out of here. Um, what things are you looking, I mean, obviously you want to improve every game. What things are you going to be looking for from your team Wednesday night? Well, you know, we hope we continue to improve defensively. You know, we, we fouled Incarnate Word way too much. Of course, they were very athletic. They could get to the hole, and they shoot a lot of free throws, but we gave up 33 free throw attempts in that game. So we definitely want to do a better job of guarding uh, Cameron without fouling them. And then, uh, you know, uh, offensive rebounding, that's another thing I, I think our team can get a lot better at. So that, that's something we've emphasized the last couple of days. And then, you know, we just got to be, uh, we got to execute our game plan. You know, we had a walkthrough today, we'll have another one in the morning. And they need to understand, you know, defensively we need to execute what we work on in practice. Okay, Tarleton will host Cameron at Wisdom Gym Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And they will be on the road. Saturday for a 4 p.m. game at Midwestern State. Be sure to tune into the Ronnie Hearn Radio Show Thursday at noon, live from the lobby of First Financial Bank.